Hello everybody. So this is the second Miltoniopsis that I got today from the local nursery. It, um, it's, they put it out for sale because it's been done blooming and it's in bad shape. So that's why it's on sale. They, it was $24.99 and they marked it down to sale for $50.99. It's not a big much of a discount but I like Miltoniopsis and this particular one is called uh, Miltoniopsis Lover's Point. So let's see what, what how bad this one is. So I'm going to take the stake out. Put it to the side. I have my scissors already soaking in um, alcohol. Not drinking alcohol but used for medicine. For medicine. Um, and I also have a alcohol prepared if I want to. So I'm going to take this one out. Let's see how what it's been growing. Oh, this one has been growing in part media. So let's uh, clean out the bark. It's very wet. I've, I had it soaking in water for a while now. So let's see. Bark is coming off easily, so it's not uh, too. Cleaned out the bark completely. I'm gonna have to clean the plant. Just just now let's see if there's anything that needs to be cut. If any old roots. I'm just going to pick my scissors. Cut it out. Clean out all the old um, sheets that's I think this is the new growth on this plant. This is a very small plant, so I'm just going to spray the hydrogen peroxide. I'm not going to cut any of the roots because they're really not in good shape, but it's, I'm just going to leave it there so the plant can have something to hold on to. So I'm going to put some, um, because it's been growing in the bark media, I'm just going to put it back in the bark media itself. Um, I have... Um, This orchid mix. I'm gonna put in this orchid mix. So, actually, too, and I'm gonna put some of the sphagnum moss because I just like to put some in there just for just to give some humidity for the plant. Um, so, cut it up. it in.
orchid roots uh, for Miltoniopsis are very fine, delicate roots. So just be careful when you're pushing the media in so you don't want to damage the roots. So I mean, some of them will break. It's very um, inevitable to not break it. So I put this in a small pot because that's the plant itself is small. So um, just wanna. Keep it in there till it gets big, and then if it's overgrows, outgrows the pot. If it's putting out new growth, then if it needs to, I can always put it in a bigger pot. So right now, I'm just gonna plant it in this one, and uh, we'll go from here. So make sure the base of the plant is always above the potting media you don't want to, do not want to um, put them submerge the base into the media because that's a good that would cause rot and, uh, don't want that. but i can i always like to put like a little let me just mist the plant so that uh, the media is washed off the plant and I just like to put little sphagnum moss on top because Miltonia still like the humidity so it'll keep the roots moist and um, on top and uh, I can keep it till the plant um, takes um, forms new roots and uh, starts growing putting out new shoots and if I want I can always take it out otherwise I can leave it as it is I'm going to put the label back on it and uh, that's it potting uh, Miltoniopsis into um, a bark and spag no, I just want to cut out the old um, spike that was growing in there. I just used the alcohol prep pad to clean it. You can cut it down to you cut it down to as far as down to the base of the plant as you can because it's not a sequential bloomer. Once it finishes blooming it's not going to put out another flower. So now I've got to take the gloves off because the media from the gloves is getting back on the plant so I'm gonna take it to the sink and give it a good soaking but I just want to show you how you can also water the plant with just a little especially in winter if you're indoors and you, you, you know you don't want to water too much if you just want to miss the plant this is a good mister you just pump it and you just miss the plant or you can spray it you can turn the nozzle and put it to a spray attachment whatever works for you I just pump it and just give it a good spray. So those are the three Miltoniopsis that I planted. One is in pure peat moss. This is um, bark and little bit of sphagnum moss in here. And this is also bark, just sphagnum moss. So those are the three Miltoniopsis that I planted, transplanted today. So thank you for watching. Please la um, come back. I'll be putting up more videos. Thank you for watching again. Thank you. Bye.